Hi guys, uh, this is the conducting loop and current carrying wire smart physics problem. I changed the beginning a little bit. Um, okay, so we have this wire that's moving with a velocity going to the left, and there is here a wire that's going in the y positive up this direction of the uh, current. So the information they give is that it's um, distance d away from it and they give us the width or the length and they call it w here okay so the first question um, by the way you can uh, read the full question down in the description below with the numbers and the answers too okay so the first question is asking what is the emf induced and the moving wire at t equals zero. Okay. All right. So the EMF is equal to um, the W, which is the length of this wire, times the velocity of the wire, times the magnetic field at at that point. Okay. So we have V, we have W, but we don't have the B. So B here is equal to, well, the B from this wire, so it's the current is um, with the thumb, and then curl my finger on it, so it's into the page. Can you see that? Into the page. So here we have X's. Cool. So B is from a wire is simply I, one mu naught over two pi and the distance is d here okay all right so just substitute the value here from this and the b here and then you'll get the emf induced all right so number two is asking what is the emf induced in the moving wire t equal t1 which is 4.5 second away okay so I'll call this um, x equals 0 uh, this line and here is where it started which is the d okay so we have the um, we have the velocity of it and we have the time so we can get the distance that it's moved okay so the V times the T will give us the distance here so and I'll call it um, D1 so D1 will be here and you'll just um, so this D is the distance that's moved from here to here okay but the EMF induced when we do the omega v b and the b here will be the i mu naught over 2 pi and then so this is the distance we're looking for so you're gonna do that d minus v t okay so this distance is this here from here to here okay so this is gonna be the wire here and it's gonna do the same current going up uh, magnetic field is pointing into the page axis okay cool all right so when you get the ma um, value of this b you'll put it and stick it here angle the emf all right so question number three is asking um, okay now we have a different scenario let me draw this real quick so now we have a loop that has W and has L, okay? And it's moving to the right. Cool, and the distance now is back to D here. And this is the same current, which is I1. All right, so um, they want to know the um, the cur the induced current in the in this loop here, 
Okay. Okay. So I'll call this um, A B C D. Okay. So the wire here will um, induce axes here. And gonna induce and axes here. But the B here will be bigger than the um, B here because it depends on 1 over R. Okay. So because the distance increased here, then the magnetic field will decrease. Because here, look, it depends on the like the R, the D here. If the increase, the B will decrease. So this part is losing axes. So you can see here that the X here is um, like it's the magnetic field is more here and here is less so it's kinda losing axis so when it's losing axis it's gonna induce a current that that is um, that would make a magnetic field that make axis because um, it doesn't wanna lose the axis here okay so the current will be going like this okay. Okay, which is um, which is um, clockwise. So the current here is a clockwise. Anyway, so the um, the B on A B is the same as we got from the first question. Yeah, from the first question. Okay. And the B C D is going to be equal to um, I one mu naught over two pi, and then the distance here. If this is D and this is L, so it's going to be D plus L. Cool. Okay. So let me just do this real quick. So it's I one U naught over two pi D. Okay. So the magnetic the B net on the loop will be equal to I one U naught over two pi um, one over D minus one over D plus L. Cool. Alright, now you gonna um Put this number because we're looking at the um, the I induced, which is equal to the volts divided by R, and the volts here is the EMF induced, which is B times V um, times the the width, which is W, okay, divided by the R. Cool. So the B net, you're just going to stick it in here. Okay. The value of the B net that you're going to get, just stick it in this guy here. And you have V, you have W, and you have R. Cool. Yeah, they gave us R. All right. So number four is asking if this guy was moving up okay if this guy is moving up what would be the emf induced or the you know the current where, where would the current be flowing well if this guy was moving this way um, the the field is not changing right because if you move this way and this way the magnetic field change because it depends on the change of the flux and if you went up and down the flux would stay the same right it's only if you move this way cool so there would be no current so question number five question number five was tricky 
So now we have another scenario, which is they rotate this guy. So make this L, and this is W, and make the distance the same. Okay. And we still have the same R, we have the same V, we have everything the same. And they told us that the current induced in this guy was the same as was induced in which one? Number three. Number three. So the value you get here, it's the same as you're going to get over this guy. But what they want us to find is this guy here. They want us to find, they call this I2. Okay. Let's say this is I1. Or let's just keep this I1 and this is I2. Okay. So they want us now to find the um, the I1. Okay. So let's see. The B will be equal to um, the same thing we did before, which is I1 u naught over 2 pi. I'm just doing the same what we did here. 1 over d minus 1 over d plus. Well, now the distance is w here, so it's plus w. Cool. And and the so the i here will be equal to emf induced um, over r okay so we need to find the magnetic field from this here which and this one is b v and this time it's l right this is the length that's being affected by this wire here not this guy like we did here so this is l over r cool okay now now we we will be solving for b so going from this guy b will be equal to um, let's see take the i i r divided by v l okay so now this i is the um, which one? This is the I induced, which is 2. Okay. Okay, now the value you get here. Oh, there's no value in this one. Oh, wait, yeah, there is a value. So this guy, we'll put it in this equation now. Okay, going to IR over VL equal i1 u naught over 2 pi 1 over d plus 1 over d w plus okay all right now this is the uh, what we're solving for okay so let's put it all together i1 this is I2. So I1 will be equal to um, I R 2 pi divided by mu naught and divided by 1 over D minus 1 over D plus W. Okay. Okay, so this is what we're solving for now. Whew. Okay, all right. I hope this makes sense. I hope I didn't make any mistake here because I just did it by my head. Um, anyway, if you see anything wrong, just shoot me a comment and let me know so nobody does the same mistake I did. Alright, um, good luck guys.